Carlos, technology is good until it's not. I mean, up to this point, we've talked about when everything is going well. Let's talk about when things don't go well. Let's talk about a module or the brain of your hydros falling off. What happens if that happens and how do I fix it quickly? Okay, so a couple of things that we need to go over is the hydros is modular. Great, great analogy. And what that means is that you don't have a single brain. So you don't have one centralized brain that then is, is controlling all the accessories. What you have is multiple brains and every brain has a copy of the configuration. Every brain can make decisions based on the communication between the other brains. So if one brain fails, then the other brains take over communication and working and also take over the, com the communication to the cloud and to your app. So whether like on your collective, you have a control four and you have an XP8. If the control four were to fail, the XP8 will pick up the slack and still allow you to access your system in the Hydro's world, the more devices you have, the more redundancy you have. Let's say you have two Hydro's 4s and an XP8, then what I highly recommend is put one temperature sensor on one control 4 and the other temperature sensor on the other control 4 and the heater on the XP8. If one of the control 4s were to fail, then the Hydro's brain will automatically switch over to the other temperature sensor on the other brain that is working correctly and your tank would be completely safe. This is something that cannot be done with most other controllers. Once that brain fails, the Wi-Fi strip or the AC outlet strip has no power to make any decisions, so therefore it's, it's, it's as good as dead. So you're saying if one part of my hydros falls off, the other piece will get itself online, let me know the other piece fell off, and then I can control everything else through the piece that's still online. That is correct. Why don't we do a simulation? You know, you wanna do a simulation and see what it looks like? Yeah, let's see how easy this is to uh, fix after something goes wrong. Fantastic, so let's go ahead and unplug the, the old X4 and then wait for a little while. And what we're going to do is we're going to wait because it does take a few, a few, a, a minute or two for the app to register that the controller is not uh, working. And the reason we do that is because we have a little delay because if there is a natural reboot by the controller and it reboots and recovers, then it's perfectly fine. And we don't want to send you a, a, a false positive alarm. So now that we're showing that the collective is broken, what I need you to do is now let's go ahead and transfer everything. So command bus port, pH probe, sensors. If you have a terminator, let's transfer everything from the old controller to the new controller. You, sh you sure this is a good idea, Carlos? And we can call this whole thing off. I don't want to be here all afternoon rebuilding this thing. So take a look at it now, right now. So as you can see, it says collective broken. Your Hydro's One device is completely dead, is not responding. Yet, I still can see what's going on. I see the XP8, and if I wanted to make changes, I can go back to your skimmer and go to the ear icon, and I can change the skimmer from outlet three to outlet number four without any problems, even though one of the brains is dead already. But let's say this happened, the Hydro's 4, it doesn't work for Murphy's Law. So, you know, you get, you contact support, they send you a new Hydro's uh, X4 controller, and now we need to replace it. Stop, stop, you're giving me a headache. I, I've been through this, I don't wanna do this. I'm not doing this again, Carlos, you can't make me. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go to the upper left-hand corner, and I'm gonna click on Devices. And then where it says Hydro's one, which is the device that it failed, I'm gonna click on that. Now under Hydro's devices, I'm gonna click on Hydro's one and you can see now I already put registered a new control four call control X4 new. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select control four X new and I'm gonna go ahead and upload the changes. That is it, that's it. Now the Hydro's app automatically takes all the configuration from the old control four and transfers it to the new control four. Then all you have all you have to do is physically move the temperature sensor from sense port one on the control on the old controller to the new controller and you're good to go. Everything was transferred over. So what's the catch? It can't be that easy. It's never that easy.
You know, it, it is. And that, that was one of the things that when we developed, when we started developing the hydros, the switching modules was one of the primary things that we wanted to do because it's been such a hard thing to do for many years and it really doesn't have to be that way the computers nowadays i mean macs make it so easy to you know with time machine transfer your data from one computer to the other if a computer a full computer can do it why can't a aquarium controller do it i mean it, it, re relatively speaking an aquarium controller is far simpler than a you know macintosh or a pc computer Okay, so that was one piece of the system. Let's go to Doomsday, like DEFCON 10 here. For some reason, lightning strikes it, you don't have enough surge protector, something happens, whole thing melts down. I had this happen on another controller recently, I had to rebuild the whole thing by hand. It's gotta be simpler on a Hydros, right? You know, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, um, what I'm going to do is, let's go ahead and, I'm just gonna delete every single output you have. What? Wait, why? Trust me, you're gonna be just fine. <laughs> no, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna delete every single output you have. I promise you, it's gonna be fine. Because it is super easy. You're, you, you'll see how easy it is. So I'm going every output, and I'm gonna take every one of your inputs. I'm breathing deeply, Carlos. I'm breathing deeply. Happy place. Looking at my tank. I'm not watching you do this. So I just did an upload that pretty much erased everything from your controller. I'm going to go back to the status screen and no inputs, no outputs right now. You're, 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 it's wiped. So on the, on other controllers, what you have to do is you pretty much have to do everything from scratch, right? With the hydros, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the upper right hand corner and I'm going to go to device properties. Then at the bottom, Take a look at it. There's a button called Review Archive Versions. So I'm gonna click on that. And as you can see now, there is a record of every single change that we've made in here, including the one where I, where I wiped everything out, but there's also a record previously of all the configuration. That's what makes Hydros easy. Do I have to go in and do that? Like back up, back up, or does this happen automatically? It happens automatically. Every time you make an up, any, every time you change something and you hit the upload button, the old configuration is saved on the cloud under your account, and then the new configuration is saved on the device. But let's say something happens, you made a mistake, maybe it's not a wipeout, you know, you, you made a whole bunch of changes and then it didn't work, and now you're trying to remember what to undo what you did. Don't do that, just go to the archives, Go back to, you know, yesterday was perfectly fine. I'll just find yesterday's uh, configuration, load it up, and then upload it. Okay, my blood pressure is dropping at this point. This is a good thing. Two questions. Number one, my whole system melted down. I get a new XP8, I get a new uh, X4. I take it I have to get one of those pieces connected to the internet and logged into my Hydros account before I can do this backup? That is correct. So what you would do is if you're, let's say your system melted down for whatever reason, Murphy's law, the last thing you want to do is you want to reset or delete anything. Okay. Because resetting and deleting just makes everything more complicated. I make the analogy to, to customers. It's like, if you get a flat tire, you don't take it to the mechanic and they give you a new engine. They don't, it's not necessary. That's like a nuclear option. You know, what you do is you, uh, you contact support if you don't know how to do it, or you can just um, um, uh, do it yourself. It's all in the instructions manual. There's in the instructions manual, there's a section about backups and restores. Okay, so then what about like any calibration I've done? pH calibration, do I have to recalibrate that probe? All transferred. So this, is, this takes me to a new, a new, a new um, a, another section of the backup. And what you can do is, just like you can backup things, like the things are automatically backed up to the cloud, we at Hydros also give you the option to download the configuration file locally to your computer. Some people don't feel safe with the cloud, maybe just want to bring that copy of your computer. So if you open the, the file with the configuration, it actually has the location of the pH port, the pH probe. It also has the calibration numbers for your pH probe, for your salinity, for your dosing pumps, for everything. It's literally, it is a true, true, Restore. Even your Wi-Fi strips, 
as long as you don't press the button and try to reset things, if you just restore, everything will be restored. Even the Wi-Fi strips will capture and they'll connect to it. The moment you try to reset things by pressing the buttons or holding the buttons or doing a, a, a magnet reset, you, are, you, you technically make things a little bit harder. Okay, so don't freak out. Always good advice. Don't go resetting stuff. Call you guys, get support. It looks pretty easy to walk through. When you get to replacement thing, I just copy this configuration and I'm good to go. That's it. I mean, and, and you, you nailed it. You know, the, the, the best thing to do is we are here to help you. So anytime you have a, a, you know, a problem or a question, you know, the last thing you want to do is reset things. Just, you know, take a deep breath, contact us. And then we'll get you back up and running and we'll walk you through the process of it. We will, we can actually, like I said, we, I'm able to remote into your system here and look at things and, and get your, and walk you through the process just like I walked you. This, you can do it yourself, but if you don't feel safe about doing it or you're a little uneasy about it, just give us a call. We'll do it for you. I hope that you guys have really good and relaxing on hold music when we call support. So we're not like getting aggravated by like the annoying on hold music. Uh, while we're waiting the short time it takes to get support if we're on hold at all. We, our music is pretty good, I think. Um, uh, but usually, um, you know, we, our support is through the phone or you can actually go to support.coralview.com and then submit a ticket and we will get back to you and uh, get you going. I mean, this is a service company's, well, it's a hobbyist's dream, service company's dream second because if something goes wrong, I have to send a new piece to the client if they're not local to me. Look, plug in this, plug in that, and then it just goes from there. And I don't have to go there and have them do a bunch of stuff. It's simple. I can rebuild a whole system in a matter of clicks, not piece by piece, outlet by outlet, like the whole thing manually. That okay? I'm just. Yeah, and, and, and you know, you're, a, you're talking about service accounts, and this is a great point because the backup and download of the configuration is not just in case of an emergency. Um, if you are a service account and you're setting up your systems, you kind of tend to set, set the systems the same way each time. Unless the customer gives you like a specific needs, you kind of make it the same way. So why not create a master system in the in your at the store or at your house and then you download that configuration and then what you do is next system you create you create it the same way with the same hardware upload that configuration and you're done without having to create every single outlet and input manually yes yes and yes exactly so you see how easy it is. I know. So you can breathe easy. Uh, you know, if anything happens, just give us a call or submit a ticket and we'll be happy to do that. But as you can see, we can do everything with a few clicks. Yes, absolutely. I'm with you. Every time I talk to you, Carlos, this thing keeps getting better. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.